In this lecture, I will summarize all the points we discussed in last topic. First point is, testing is done to assess the quality of the software and to reduce the risk of software failure in operation. Next we saw what is the impact of faulty software. Faulty software can result in loss of money, time, reputation and injury or death. Then we saw testing is a process and consists of different activities like test planning, test monitoring, test analysis, test design, test implementation, test execution and then test completion. You need to remember them in the same order as they are mentioned here. And then we studied testing consists of static and dynamic testing and also consists of verification and validation process. We also learned about static and dynamic testing differences. First difference is static testing is conducted without execution of code. Dynamic testing requires execution of code. The second point is static testing is performed in the verification stage whereas dynamic testing is performed in the validation stage. The third point is static testing is cost effective while dynamic testing is less cost effective. Static testing examples are walkthrough and code review whereas dynamic testing examples are functional and non-functional tests. Then we had a look into objectives of testing. First objective is to evaluate work products such as requirement, user story, design and code. Second objective is to verify whether all specific requirements have been fulfilled. Third objective is to validate whether the test object is complete and works as the user and other stakeholders expect. Fourth objective is to build confidence in the level of quality of the test object. Fifth objective is to prevent defects. Sixth objective is to find failures and defects. Seventh objective is to provide sufficient information to stakeholders to allow them to make informed decision especially regarding the level of quality of the test object. Eighth objective is to reduce the level of risk of inadequate software quality. Example previously undetected failures occurring in operation. Ninth objective is to comply with contractual, legal or regulatory requirements or standards to verify the test object's compliance with such requirement or standard. And at the end we need to know objective of testing is context dependent. And the last topic was testing and debugging where we studied in agile development and in some other life cycle tester may be involved in debugging and component testing. Then we learned about testing and debugging activity. Testing activities are finding defect and confirming defects are fixed whereas developers activity is to analyze defect and fix those defect. With Since it is very much required to remember the content in order to clear exam, we are repeating them again and again for your benefit. Thank you for listening to me.